hello, hello, and what a beautiful morning it is on the regrowth world. Oh man, we're starting to get this world back to the way it should be. All the beautiful green grass. Don't look over there. Or over there. Or over there. Or over there. No, no, just right here. Oh, look at all those flowers and green grass. It's majestic. Anyways, let's start off this world. Wait. Let's start off this video <laughs> by not touching the quest book. What? Yeah, that's right, guys. You heard me right. I am going to do my best to fill this with other stuff. Now, these could potentially be quests down the line, but I kind of want to see what we're getting into and if it's all possible. All right, so first things first, let's get ourselves some iron. Oh, yeah. And some iron... Nugits. Iron Nugits are the best kind of Nugit. Alright. Oh, that's... Oh! Ooh. Oh, what do I have here? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'll take that. Thank you very much. But, that's not what we're doing yet. Stop distracting me, game. Iron Caps. That's right. We are dabbling a little bit into the Thomcrafty world. Um, I want to see what all is available to us uh, with Thomcraft. I'm pretty sure Thomcraft is covered at some point in time. But I want to investigate for myself uh, what I can do or not do with it before I need the quest book. Like, I'm hoping I can get certain things. We'll just leave it at that. No spoilers, okay? Jeez. No spoilers. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. We gotta do that. We should probably do that. Alright, anyways, let's make ourselves a bookshelf. Let's plop it down and hit it with the wand. And let's get ourselves... What? Thaumonomicon? Where did it go? Guys? Uh-oh. Did it go automatically into the book bind? It did! Okay. Woo! That scared me a little bit, guys. Alright, the Thaumonomicon is open and alive. So, lots of research and whatnot to do, uh, for sure, in the world. I need to first make our tables and whatnot. So, I definitely need a little bit more wood than what I grabbed, like a noob. Um, I definitely need to get some more iron and stuff as well going. Let's see. Oh, it's going to be tight, guys. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Don't know if I'm going to have enough. Yeah, a little low. A little bit low. Oh, bread. Thank you. I like bread. Phone be going off in the background. Listen. Okay, it wasn't my fault, all right? Don't blame me, blame the phone. Okay, uh, kind of lacking coal, but that's okay. We'll get that going. Uh, let's get rid of that as well, okay. All right, all right, that does it. Mute, Meh. muted, there we go. There we go, oh man, it is cold outside today. Jeez, all right, good, let's get some of this. We need some slabs. And I think it's like this. No. Like this. No. Is it the other way around? No. Uh oh. How do I make a tabla? A table. The thumb crafty in kind. Where is it at, guys? Where is it at? It's gotta be here somewhere. Alright. Table. Thumb craft. Thumbcraft table. There it is right there. It's great wood. Rot row. Um. Okay. Maybe I can't do any of this, guys. I might not be able to do any of this. I don't think I have four great wood saplings. I'm not sure if I can get them via... Mutandus either. I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Alright, we might have to wait then. Shucks. I was kind of hoping I could jump ahead. But, looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit. Well, dang. Dang, damn it. 
blast you, regrowth. I love you so much. You're fantastic. Uh, the sprinkler system is working like a dream. Uh, somebody told me about a valve or something that you can get. Aha, right here. Wooden valve. Uh, just a lever, a piece of iron, and one of those irrigation channels. Um, and that will allow us to cut off the water wherever we want to. Right now, I'm not pumping any in at all to the system. I mean, they're still, they're still full. This thing's going to last... I swear to God, forever. But, um, yeah. It's pretty good. I also installed this iron guy here so that no water runs back down this long pathway here. Right? Just to kind of keep it a little bit more efficient. Um, over here, our coal is working great. And I haven't yet hooked it up for the ender seeds. But we're sitting pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I do want to get started on our build, though, pretty soon as well. But I'm kind of upset about the Thumbcraft stuff now. Okay, so let's do a few odds and ends around the world here. So one of the ones that I wanted to do, uh, we could definitely do start doing a lot of these. A lot of the runes and stuff like that, we could definitely get that going. Uh, it looks like it progresses into a few other runes. I'm not sure what they do yet. Um, this stuff here, I'm not too worried about. Cartography is something that I do want to do, uh, but not quite yet. That's basically how you make a map, right? Um, this one, though, is a different story. Notice how I said we weren't going to touch the quest book, and we're touching the quest book. All right, Crucible of Fire. All right, let's look up this crucible and let's get it going. So these guys here, the heating components, are going to require the silicone carbides that I have. And like so, that should give us four. Beautiful, that's exactly what I wanted to see. We need a brick construction block, which is burnt bricks. We need some burnt bricks as well, so for that we need clay. We need clay, okay. Good, a lava bucket, and a fluid tank. Alright, not too shabby. We have fluid tanks. We do have a couple burnt bricks over here, um, but not really enough to get too, too far. Um, we could definitely make this guy, but let's just hold off on that for... Eh, let's make that guy. Yeah, let's do it. It's fine. There we go. Boom. Okay, good. So we're pretty much there, uh, but we need some more burnt bricks. So for that, I need to make some bricks. Do I have any clay? I think I just used it. I have one. One clay, guys and gals. One clay. All right, I'm going to go hunt some clay somewhere. I have no clue where, but I'm going to go hunt some clay, and I'll be back with you guys shortly. Alrighty, so I got a few bricks. Let's see if we can't figure out this vat. So I think we just add a bucket, right? I think that's right. And do I just right click? Apparently I just right click. And is it using it up? Is it cooking it? Are you doing things? Excuse me, sir. Are you working? Are you twerking? Are you doing your job? You know, I've never actually used the vat from Mariculture. So I honestly don't know. Let's find out. Okay. Aha! Excellent. Okay. Good. We got a burnt brick. Okay. Can I add more? Oh, I can add more than one. Ooh. But does that mess me up if I don't have enough lava in, though? That's a good question. Let's add another bucket. And boom. Like that. And let's add another bucket. I'm assuming, worst case, we can pull the bucket out, right? Maybe. Maybe not. It's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Uh, okay, it's cooking up the clay bricks. We should be getting ourselves a burnt brick. Nice. Good. That means... Dang it. Uh-oh. I think I put in too many. I need two buckets of lava. Does that mean that I need to find a bucket of lava? Oh god, that would be terrible. Okay. Nope, not gonna work. Alright, good. 
We'll put in that guy, the burnt brick, and the lava to get our first crucible furnace. Nice. Let's get that guy. Okay, it's definitely doing one at a time. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Slow and steady. It'll win the race. Okay. Good. We got another one. Is that enough? No, I need all six, don't I? Dang it. We're going to need more lava. Yep. We're going to need more lava. Am I honestly going to be short lava? Hmm. You know, I haven't really dug much in this world at all. Um, and I don't remember finding a lava pool. But I could be mistaken. Uh, let's quickly take a brief little look here. I just need like one more bucket. Maybe two. I don't think there's any surface lava uh, that I've seen anyways. Oh, I'll take this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Zomberts. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I've found any surface lava. Uh, so I'm going to have to go find some lava, I guess, guys, because I'm pretty sure I'm short. If I'm not mistaken, I am. So uh, might do some caving or I might just dig straight down to lava level. Probably just dig straight down. But yeah, anyways, I guess I'll be right back. Jackpot. Oh yeah, look at this. What do we have here? A little bit of lerva. Is this some lerva? Excellent, love it. Okay, let's grab ourselves a couple quick buckets. Beautiful. I just decided to dig down. I figured my chances of finding a lava pool under the ground were much greater than a couple other things. So, you know, I just decided to go with that. So, yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Excellent. God, it's so long getting upstairs. It takes forever. But, hey, we got some lava. That's, that's perfect. That's all we really needed, right? So, let's get on up. Aha, uh -huh. nighttime. 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 Nighttime, we can sleep. Get rid of all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying everything. I've been having a lot of fun here lately infinity regrowth do they get watered off in the sprinklers i think that would be an interesting use of game mechanics just saying okay there i put one bucket in there i'm probably gonna grab one of these fluid tanks and take it all the way downstairs and have it uh ready to go otherwise so we'll uh we'll deal with that in a little bit i'm interested though i want to try the fired clay bucket just to see if um, if it takes away the bucket after, if you know what I mean. Do you guys know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I know what I mean. All right, good. That, that, and one burnt brick away. Burn! Burn. God, it takes a while. I think it's like eight, ten seconds, something like that. What is it? Sixteen seconds. Nether brick is half of that, right? So if you had nether brick, that would be ideal. But anyways, we got what we got. Crucible furnace, excellent. It did remove the clay bucket. So keep that in mind, guys and gals. Cast away. Once you've melted down your metals, you need a way to cool them back to a more usable state. Okay. Uh, a mold for ingots and a mold for blocks should suffice. Ingot caster, block caster, and a ladle. To move the molten metal from the crucible furnace to the molds, you'll want a ladle. Which can hold one ingot's worth of liquid at once. Okay, so block caster and ingot caster. Oh boy, how do I do that? Do I need, I think I need lava underneath this thing, don't I? If memory doth discern me, pretty sure. Uh huh. I think I do. I think I do. Okay. Harvest level iron. Great. Great. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get more of that lava going for sure uh, right away. 
And I'm just going to take this guy and this guy. We'll go get fill them up with lava. And that way we can bring them back upstairs. And have a decent amount of lava ready to go. Let's first look up the casters, though. I want to see what these guys cost. So the ingot caster is 5 burnt brick. And the block caster is 8 burnt brick. Okay. So definitely... And then there's a nugget caster as well. Okay. So definitely need to get some more burnt brick. I'm going to be right back. I don't think you can get nether brick. Yeah. Nether rack? I don't think so. Maybe if I was in witchery. If I had witchery, I might have been able to. But it looks like that's a no-no. So, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so it looks like I have five. So let's get ourselves the ingot caster. Nice. We still have a little ways to go. But we can make ourselves a ladle as well. Just a little bit of copper. No big deal. Good. And it, I needed to cook up more anyways. Let's uh, sleep through the night at time. Let's sleep on through. Beautiful. Excellent. Magnificent. All right. We'll grab that. Slowly getting some experience. You know, one of the other things I was debating uh, building at one point in time, or getting at one point in time, was an item like a mob farm. And we might still do that, right? I mean... That is definitely on the radar of things that I want to get done. So we have our ingot caster. We have our ladle. So the last one, not the least, is the block caster. And these are to cool them down. So it shouldn't really need anything too special in regards to additional materials or anything like that. Now this guy here, I'm pretty sure reacts to just some simple coal. And it heats up and you're good to go. Um, so nothing too crazy there and yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. I Think I have five in there right now So that tells me that I still need another bucket of lava man Oh man, you should find a lava pool early in this mod pack because it's gonna be required uh, for the mariculture stuff uh, But hey, we're going pretty good. We're gonna get that and then we're gonna see what this guy is and eventually, I think we can even make obsidian in here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a quick glance. Obviously, there's the essence of obsidian. But yeah, one bucket of water, one bucket of lava, 10 seconds later in a vat becomes obsidian. So that's going to be useful as well. We can go to the nether, guys. Oh my. Nether height. Maybe we'll go to the nether this episode. What do you guys think of that? I think that could be cool. All right. Let me... You know what? I'm going to go farm my stuff while I wait for this to end. Uh, well, maybe. Um, I'm going to go farm a little bit anyways. I think I definitely want more coal essence. Uh, more ender essence would be nice. And, yeah. Iron and copper. Meh. Not too, too bad. But... I'll be right back. Alrighty, and we're back here. Let's get ourselves the block caster as well. Let's turn in our quest. Bingo. Claim reward. Amazing. Love that sound. Searing heat. Cobblestone seems to actually melt when placed in a crucible furnace. Ah, seared bricks, guys. Seared bricks. Okay. Oh boy, Tinker's Construct Smeltery Hype, right? Am I right or am I right? Okay, let's see. Can you put this in here? No, I don't think that's right. Uh, so let's look up the seared bricks here. Seared bricks. Seared brick. Uh, it's right there. Beautiful. So grout you can't make, right? Ingot caster is how you take the seared stone to make it into seared bricks. So seared stone is any type of fuel. It's got to hit 218 degrees and some cobblestone. Okay, and that's going to give you some seared stone. All right, good. So uh, I think from that standpoint, let's put the block caster down here. Let's put the ingot caster right beside it. 
We did get more burnt brick, which might be useful down the line. I'm not sure. Um, but I did manage to go and grab some more coal. Excellent. And I got a whole bunch more ender seeds. Ender essence, too. Okay. So, let's give this a go. Let's see how long this takes to heat up. Uh, it seems to be going pretty quick. And the coal's actually lasting a decent amount of time. Um, so that's good. I'm quite happy about that. I was a little concerned that it was going to take longer than that. So I think for the most part, it's not too, too bad. Obviously, still has a long, long way to go. I, If I remember correctly, I'm not sure if this is still the case. But Mariculture of Old, this guy used to work faster in the nether. And I'm not sure if that is still the case or not. We might have to test it a little bit later on. But for right now, we're cruising. We're getting up there. Obviously, we have to wait. Melting point is 218C. You can see it right there. And it's going to go into seared stone. So I'm just going to throw that in there. Uh, one. Yeah, I might do two stacks. I might do two stacks of cobble. I'm not sure the length of time that it's going to take. Uh, does it say? It doesn't specify any time. Um, so I'm not too positive. It's going to take time, obviously. But we'll wait and figure that out for sure. But I'll be back once this hits 218 degrees Celsius. Alrighty, guys. We're almost there. 15, 16, 17, 18. It should start smelting, right? Aha! We have a progress bar. Excellent. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Obviously, that's going to keep on going. And I assume the hotter it is, the faster this thing goes. That is my assumption. Um, but we all know what that can do sometimes. All right. Good, good, good. Let's see how we're doing. All right. We got seared stone okay now i'm not positive how much i need i'm pretty sure it's a decent amount if i remember correctly but you know what hey that is pretty much awesome um so i think at this point in time we're going pretty darn solid um i think we need to get into a couple other things though we're definitely going to go to the end i think i think that's something that should be pretty awesome so let me let's get that going yeah let's do that okay so one of those plus one of these and it said after a little bit of time uh-huh it's doing something let's give this a quick test it should give us some obsidian okay is it working is it twerking there we go. Our first piece of obsidian, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty. I'm going to get all the obsidian we need. We're going to smelt down that cobble. Give this ingot and uh, block caster a quick little test and all that fun stuff. And I'll be back with you guys in but a jiffy. Alrighty. So we're coming to the point here where we're at, what are we at? 144. And this can only hold 144. So, uh, how do we get it out? How do we get the stuff out? Um, okay, is it just a bucket? No. Uh, how do I get the fluid out? Does it say? Let's see. Cobblestone. Uh, okay, good. Hmm, when the computer... Okay, no, it's it's not telling me how. Um... Ah, okay, shift right click seems to do it. Okay, so I added it into there. That's good. All right, we're going to get more here as we go. I got some lava, some obsidian. We're getting close on the nether stuff. So we might head into the nether soon, where we could get a ton more lava as well. But we'll see how that goes. So it's a shift-right-click. Okay. Good to know, guys. 
Um, hopefully that helps maybe some of you guys as well. You never know. So is this done then? Did this craft? Whoa! Okay. Okay. All right. Oh my. Okay. So we need to do one more of those. And that'll get us uh, closer to our quest. Right? It's eight. Yes, it is. Okay, so... Good stuff. I'm going to be right back yet again. Haha. Haha. -ha. Alrighty, so I can also confirm melting two is twice as fast. So keep that in mind. Okay, now we have a crafting task to finish this. I figured that was too good to be true, obviously. So obviously we need to craft all of the different parts of a smeltery. So I'm going to be doing this for quite some time. But smelting 2 is definitely better than what I was doing. So that's good. Uh, and just like anything, I mean, we have the 8. So we could do the controller like so. And that gave us another book. Excellent. The mighty smelting. We'll get our fireworks. Put it in our book binder. All that fun stuff. But in the meantime, I've made a small little nether portal. That's right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some of this stuff behind. I'm going to let that stuff just accumulate and go together. But for now, we are going to go into the nether. So a quick little flint and steel should be all that's required. Unless they change something. I have no armor. And I'm going into the nether. Uh, let's just read for a second. The first step. Okay. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. I forgot to claim the reward. Oh, man. Okay, well... Oh, and that would have given me nether wart. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, maybe I'll do that instead. I'm sorry. This video has been very much cut and trimmed and all that kind of stuff. And I feel bad about it. I do feel bad about it, guys. I don't like doing videos like that. But it's kind of just the way this one's been working, right? So... I do feel bad about it, but there's not too, too much that I can do at this point in time. So, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to make the 10 obsidian again. Because I didn't real, I forgot about this, right? So I'm going to make the 10 obsidian again, and that'll give us our quest reward. And then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm going to go into the nether. Alrighty, folks, I'm back, and I just looked at the time as well, and we're already like 20 minutes in. I didn't think we were anywhere close to that, and I've cut out so much. Uh, that's a little bit sad, actually. Uh, as you can see, I've been crafting away all the seared stuff that I can think of. Um, we're up to like 1700 C, though, which is awesome, because I was thinking, let's smelt some iron. Now, iron does need 1538C, okay? So keep that in mind, ladies and gents, all right? So let's do this, and let's pull out the last little bit of seared brick there that we have, and this guy is smelting up. But as you can see, 1538C, not easy. Not simple in the slightest. I'm really curious to see how much we get out of 34 iron, right? 34 iron, I highly doubt it's going to be double. It doesn't appear to be double. It appears to be, yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're getting about three for every two. So it's about a 1.5 times. Is that about right? That's not that bad, actually. I actually thought it was going to be worse than that. So I'm kind of glad to see that. Um, but, you know, we're going to need a decent amount because part of the quest here 
is a tool forge. And for that, of course, you need four of a specific thing. Okay, good. Obsidian, 10 of 10. Light it up. Got it. Highway to hell. To the dimension. Okay, that's the travel one there. Okay, so there we go. We have nine. So let's do this. Let's take it all. Yeah. Fill up this guy. Five ingots. Six. Oh, God. Why does it take so long? Okay. And is that it? Is that it? Looks like that's it. Okay. So this should harden into a block, right? And we're already starting to craft up the next stuff. Okay. Not too shabby, really. Um kind of annoying to take the ladle every 10 seconds over but you know it is what it is okay and that should harden beautiful into our block of iron okay beautiful excellent amazing alrighty guys ladies and gents I think it's time I think we should go travel to the nether all right let's put some of this stuff away I'm gonna take that uh, we'll leave, uh, we'll take some cobble with us, and we'll leave the ladle. Okay, here we go. We're running in. We're running in like a madman. Yeah. All right. We're warping in. This is going to be the end of the video. Should I pause it right now? Oh, how trolly would that be, guys? If I paused it, like, end of video right now, you don't even get to see. Okay, please be good. Please be kind. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. I hear lots of noises. Okay. Let's just jump up here for a quick sec. Good. Good. Okay. Not a bad little nether. Oh, God. Seriously, bro. Oh, boy. Don't hit the portal, please. Okay. No. Okay. Come on. Come at me. Yeah. Ow! Ow! Hit him! Nope. Nope. Ah! I hit the portal! Oh, come on, that hit him. Oh no. I hit the glowstone. Yeah. I'm gonna get this. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right, we'll get it. Oh, 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 yeah, baby. Got him, okay. All right, no big deal. It's fine, it's fine, guys, it's fine. Nothing happened, no big deal. All right, let's check our quest book. Visited the nether, claimed the reward, soul sand, definitely. Oh boy, all the things. Okay, nether copper ore, all right. Can I mine that with flint? Well, not with this one. I can. Oh, but the pigment. The pigment will get mad. Okay. All right. Uh. Uh. Let's just use up that. Good. Oh, glowstone. Oh, okay. I'll take you. Thank you. Excellent. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Was this broken? Nope. Still works. No big deal. We got it. It's all good. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. Again, I'm a smaller channel, so if any friends or anybody else that you can uh, mention the stream to, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, and have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye-bye for now. See ya.